what I'm about to show you is a classical SAT trickster. So please pause the video, try to solve it by yourselves on pause and then come back to me. You will need to know something about standard deviation for this one. All right. So we have some data about city A, we have some data about city B. And what I tell my students always is whenever they have a table, I always ask them to turn it into a string of numbers. On the outset, we try to turn it into a string of numbers physically, so I actually make them write it out, but then you can just kind of mentally imagine this. So on the test, it's counterintuitive to spend so much time and to turn it into a string of numbers, but here we're practicing, right? You're on the, you're not on the test, you're watching YouTube. So let's turn this first table into a string of numbers. So frequency three, the temperature is 80. And then frequency one, the temperature is 76. So let's go from lowest to highest. So it's going to be 76, 77, 78, 78. Then it's going to be 14 times 79. I'm just going to do 79, dot, dot, dot. And then 80, 80, 80. For a lot of my students, doing this this way just changes how they think about this chart because these are the values that they're measuring. These are the frequencies. Sometimes you can um, mix them up. Sometimes you can think that it was 80 times 3, 79 times 14. It could be very, very confusing. So now we have um, the string for one of the values, and they're asking you about standard deviation, about city 1 and city 2, and... Um, which one was larger, which one was smaller in the 21 days. Well, in order to estimate standard deviation, you need to calculate your mean. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my calculator and I'm going to count my mean. And mean is the sum of all of the values divided by the number of data points. I know there was 21 days, so I'm going to be dividing by 21, but I need my sum first. 76 plus 77 plus 78 times 2 plus 79 times 14 plus 80 times 3. My sum is 1,655. I'm going to divide that by 21, and my mean is 78.8. So this is my average value. Let's see. How spread out are my values? Well, if my mean is 78.8, 14 out of those values are actually right next to the mean. They're like at 79, and there's a lot of 78. So I would say that the standard deviation for city A is pretty low. All Most of the values are surrounding 78, surrounding the mean. Well, let's take a look here. The city B is very similar. So we have 76, six times, 77, four times, 78, two times. So let's actually calculate the mean. Let's not be lazy. So 76 times six plus 77 times four plus 78 times two plus 79 times three plus 80 times six. The total sum is 1,637. I'm going to divide that by 21, and that gives me 77.95. Well, that's close to 78, and it looks like only two of the values were very close to the mean. And then you see how many values, you have six values, here, you have six values here. You have six values on both ends that are much more further removed from the mean. So who's going to have a larger standard deviation? Which set is more spread out? It's B. And it's very um, tiny. It's not very obvious like we have seen in other problems. So the correct answer is that standard deviation of temperatures for a city B is larger. And that's answer choice B. I'll see you guys in the next video. There is more trickery that SAT made up for us for standard deviation. I'll see you there.